is up, yes gamers? Robert the Bruce here, bringing you another video. Today, looking at the heavy barrel, and more specifically, the heavy barrel secrets. Uh, it's really just one secret, and some of you may already know it. And if you do, that's great. But I've run across a lot of people that were not aware of this, so I thought it was worth putting the information out there to help you guys. And the heavy barrel traditionally gives your bullets longer damage, uh, longer damage, uh, damage at longer ranges, um, but it also adds some recoil. Now, in the history of the dice patches of this game, they also snuck in there the fact that with the carbines, aka every engineer gun, it also increases the muzzle velocity. Basically, all that means is you get faster traveling bullets, and it's significantly faster, uh, usually 100 to 200 milliseconds faster. Um, so the heavy barrel really becomes a pretty beastly attachment with the carbines. Now, it's also on the Assault G3A3 and the Recon SKS guns. Uh, no other guns, and you know, none of the support guns get any love. Sorry there, guys. But uh, every single carbine gets it. Now, we're going to take a quick pause in talking about the heavy barrel and move into this little tip that I like to use that is really important, I think. When you're out in the field and you run low on ammo and you see an enemy kit, stop and pay attention to it. If it's support, switch out, throw ammo down, and then switch back to your kit that you like, that you set up, that's designed for your gameplay style, and bam, you get fully reloaded and you can get back in the action. I've seen a few of the YouTubers talking about this, uh, some really great ones, and it's really worth uh, mentioning here. If anybody doesn't know that trick, that can really be a deciding factor when you're on a really good kill streak and, and keeping it going. But back to the heavy barrel talk. Suffice it to say, unless you have a really specific reason for running like a suppressor or one of the other attachments, I can't think of hardly any other attachment you would want to run over the heavy barrel. The carbines, which do great work, you know, up close into mid-range, this suddenly gives them longer range, faster traveling bullets. It, it, it makes it kind of an all-around weapon. Really, really is phenomenal attachment when you think about it. Now, I haven't included the exact numbers for every single carbine here because, again, like I said, it's good for all of them. There's none of them that it's only like 10 meters per second or, or anything small like that. It's all good. So any carbine you use, whatever your favorite one is, equip it on there and, and you can really do some work. Now, in these a couple of clips here, you're seeing me use the SCAR H, single fire, ACOG, heavy barrel. This is the ultimate anti-sniper machine. I get great range out of it. If you've got a fast trigger finger, you can really do some work up close. But even if you're running an MTAR, why not give that the ability to have longer range uh, and more damage at that range. Plus, you're running an engineer class, so you get your repair tool, and you get to have a little repair tool fun. And this sniper, <laughs> two minutes after I repair tool and I go back, yes indeed, it's the same guy. We have a little pistol versus repair, repair tool battle, and uh, a repair tool headshot. That's what I'm talking about. Go equip the heavy barrel on your carbines, put it to the test, see what you think, I really do believe you'll be impressed and, and happy with the results you get with it. It's now one of the exclusive things that I run on my carbines uh, after I found out this information. To wrap things up, I'd like to say a huge thank you to Diesel Power 1973 for helping me compile this information. Thank him in the comments below, and I'll see you guys again soon in another video.